Hey everyone, welcome to The Monthly Review, the monthly show on language learning. Where you discover new learning strategies, motivational tips, study tools, and resources. By the way, all the lessons and bonuses you're about to see can be downloaded for free on our website. So click the link in the description right now to sign up for your free lifetime account. Okay, today's topic is how to make sure you keep going when your reason for learning language changes. Did you know that the reason most people start learning languages isn't why they continue with the language? Successful learners change up their reasons along the way in order to keep themselves motivated. So if you started learning for whatever reason but no longer feel motivated, then this episode is for you. You'll discover, one, why your reason for learning a language can and will change, and two, how to keep going with language learning when your initial reason no longer works. But first, listen up. Here are this month's new lessons and resources. Be sure to download these now before we take them down in a few days. First, the Going to a Restaurant Conversation Cheat Sheet. Do you know how to order food in your target language? You'll be able to. With this PDF cheat sheet, you'll get the must-know restaurant phrases and vocabulary for common dishes. Second, the Daily Conversations PDF eBook. With this, you'll learn over 100 phrases for everyday conversations. Download and review the eBook on any device. Third, can you talk about grammar in your target language? If you're learning a language, you'll need to be able to say verb, adjective, and much more. And in this one minute lesson, you'll pick up over 25 grammar related words. Fourth, how to talk about working from home. You'll learn how to say Wi-Fi, online meeting, work from home, 25 phrases in total with this one minute lesson. Fifth, must know art vocabulary. Learn how to say canvas, brush, and much more with this quick vocab bonus. To get your free resources, click the link in the description below right now. They're yours to keep forever. Okay, let's jump into today's topic. How to keep your motivation going, even when your reason for learning a language changes. First, here's a question for you. What was your reason for starting this language? You might have started learning for travel, for the culture, to watch TV shows or understand music, or because someone you know speaks it and you want to try speaking with them. All of these reasons have something in common. They're external, meaning you're trying to get some outside reward or benefit, like a friendship, a personal relationship, travel, or living in the country. You can say they're also external motivations. All of these reasons are why most people start learning languages. They're exciting. All of us want to understand a TV show 100% or have a conversation with native speakers. But the problem with external reasons is that they may not last very long. Have you ever been motivated to start learning only to lose that motivation? And months later, you realize you made no progress on a goal you wanted? It happens quite often. For example, you want to learn a language for travel, but then the pandemic happened and you weren't able to travel. Or you were learning to enjoy TV shows, but the shows are way too complicated and you find you're no longer enjoying them. Or you're learning for your partner, but then you break up. When that happens, all learners come to a crossroads. Continue or quit. Most people quit because the reason they started is no longer motivating. So how do you keep going? In the first part, you learn that most reasons for starting are external reasons, like traveling, meeting new people, being able to watch TV shows and such, or external motivations. However, your reason for starting a language isn't often the reason why you continue learning. It's natural for your reasons to change. So what do you do when your initial reason for learning is no longer working? If your current motivator isn't working, switch to an internal reason. External reasons are about getting some outside benefit. Internal reasons have more to do with yourself. For example, you could say you're learning the language because you want to improve yourself. You want to achieve this goal. You've failed goals in the past, so now you're determined to make it work for once. You're the type of person that gets things done. All of these are examples of internal reasons, where you make it about yourself. External reasons can only last so long. Even external reasons like you want to live in that country, so you want to learn the language, aren't enough. There are plenty of people that move abroad to learn a language, but end up losing their motivation anyway. And psychology studies show that internal reasons, internal motivation, doing it for yourself, is much more powerful than external. Doing it because you want to is much more powerful than doing it because you have to. 
So thank you for watching this episode of Monthly Review. Next time we'll talk about the first step in your language learning journey that will guarantee your success. If you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share the video with anyone who's trying to learn a language, and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. And if you're ready to finally learn language the fast, fun, and easy way, and start speaking from your very first lesson, get our complete learning program. Sign up for your free lifetime account right now. Click the link in the description. See you next time. Bye.